Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's install Dead or Alive 6 cracked version on the Steam Deck and get it up and running. So open Lutris, go to the plus button on the top left corner, type the name of the game, click install, the blue button, click install again, and then we're going to install it on the Home Deck Games DOA6 folder. So we're going to install it here not a problem continue and then select the install file the setup file that we have that you should already have downloaded and then click install all right so let's just wait for it to prepare this was a request by a viewer and I'm thinking it's gonna be a hard one because uh, you guys are giving me some hard games to get up and running so let's see what we need to do to get this game up and running. So we're going to install it through Lutris first. So now we're just selecting English and then this is the, I'm going to turn off the sound. Uh, this is the file, the setup file. Uh, yep, yeah, so make sure you have something similar. And then we're just going to install it into eDrive Games, Dead or Alive 6. And click OK. So we're going to install all the variables, the uh, dependencies, DirectX and the Visual C. So let's just install it. It's going to take some time, so I'm going to fast forward this part. So I'll see you once it's installed. Okay, so the game is basically installed. Now we're doing the MD5 checks so to make sure that the files are installed correctly. So that's done. And then it's gonna ask you to install the dependencies that we checked earlier. So the first one, DirectX, and there's an error. Uh, there's not much we can do about that right now. So just let it be. I think it's normal. We couldn't install the DirectX. And now we're installing the Visual C's. Okay, this is easy. There's two of them. Just install them both. Okay, so close out of this. We can't launch it yet because we haven't set the executable. So and then right click DOA6 and then we configure it so we're using the wine yes and then in game options we've got to select the executable so the executable is in if you remember we installed it in home deck game uh, DOA6 and then inside we should have now DOS devices and then E drive games again and then dead or alive 6 Inside here, there should be a doa6.exe. So select the executable. And then we should be good to go. So let's check out the game. See if it runs on desktop mode. All right, we've got something popping up. It's a good sign. I'm panicking a little bit. I'm clicking everything I can because nothing's showing up. But it should be good. 
Yes. All right, so we're loaded in the game. Okay, so let's we're gonna test it out in the game mode. So we're gonna quit out of this because in desktop mode the controls aren't really working. So yeah, I think we have to press alternate F4 on the keyboard to just quit out of it, and then we just make the Steam we make the Steam shortcut. So let's quit Steam first. Make sure it's closed make sure the bottom icon the steam icon is absent yep it's gone now and then we create the steam shortcut then we open steam again And we check on the left hand side if it added a shortcut. Let's wait for it to load. Go to library. And then on the left hand side, we have DOA6. I've got a DOA.exe because uh, I tried to install on the PC and then just transfer it and then add a non Steam game and it didn't work. So that's why I, I'm using Lutris. So I'm going to change the DOA6 to Dead or Alive 6 to make it look better. Then I'm going to delete the DOA6.exe, which didn't work. So I'm just going to remove it from my library, just so we don't mix up. Okay, so let's go back to game mode. And I'll see you in game mode. Okay, so we're in game mode. Let's go to library. And then non-Steam, Dead or Alive 6. Let's go fix some of the artwork. But my internet is a little bit crappy today. I don't know why. So it might not load. Yeah. So let's uh, forget about the artwork for now, which is something I don't do. But my internet is very slow today. So let's just run the game and let's see how it does. It'll take some time to load this game. Okay, we're in. I think there's no sound. Is it because I think it's because uh, we couldn't install the DirectX. That's why there's no sound. But the controls are working in desk, uh, in game mode, so that's something we did. Yeah, there's no sound, so. We might have to fix that if we can. But let's just run the game first. Um, I don't really play Dead or Alive. I'm more of a Street Fighter and King of Fighters fan. So let's just... Yeah, I think there's no sound because the menus have sound on the Steam Deck. It's just that the game doesn't have sound. So I'm pretty sure there's a problem. I think it's because we didn't install DirectX. The graphics are okay, they're pretty good, but it's super laggy, 30 frames, why does it feel so slow? Yeah, it's very slow, it's running at 30 frames, but yeah, but it's very slow. I've read online that, um, you change the resolution to 720 and and the game runs very smooth i think by default it's uh, 1080p so let's 
go out and change the settings to 720p and see if the game runs better because I don't think we can play at the, that speed so let's try to find the graphics menu the sound there's nothing to do with the sound I don't think the sound's working so yeah alright let's go to graphics and we're going to change the resolution to 720 because I read online that it, it works a lot better alright let's try it oh I, I quit out of the game accidentally Okay, sorry about that. Let's just boot into it again. See if the sound works this time. I doubt it. Oh, I think it loads faster. I think the first time it took a little bit longer to load. So now it's, I think it's a little bit faster. Yep, still no sound. Still no sound. Uh, I don't think we can do anything about that right now. So let's go and see if the game runs smoother this time. Let's see if we get a better outfit. Oh, Christmas. All right. I've never been a fan of Dead or Alive. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. So if you want to play this game on the Steam Deck, I'm pretty sure you have to set the resolution at 720p. See how it's a lot smoother? Before it was so, so slow. Yeah, now it's 60 frames consistent. So yeah. Let's try fix the sound. So I'm going to fix the sound. I think we have to go back to desktop mode. So I'll see you in desktop mode and see if we can fix it. Okay, so we're in desktop mode. I did a lot of settings, but I have found finally found a way. So uh, let's go to the Lutris. And then uh, I think it's because we're using the wrong wine version. We should be using GE Proton. Uh, don't use the Lutris uh, protocols. So we're, we're going to change it to the GE Proton. I think because GE Proton has the DirectX bundled in so that's why so if you don't have uh if you can't select ge proton in the lutris uh download uh proton kill t and then uh on the lutris part just download the latest version i'm using um ge 8 hyphen 10 so we're going to change it and then we're gonna i'm gonna quit steam and then i'm gonna create the shortcut again just to make sure that it's updated. So I'm going to create the Steam shortcut. And I changed the, the game settings in Lutris to, to make it run uh, the Wine version GE Proton. So now I'm opening Steam again to make sure that uh, the shortcut's still there. Yep, DOA6. So I deleted the old one and now I'll create a new one uh, with the updated settings. Yep, this is the Lutris one. And then let's just run it here. See if it works. I've tried it, so it does. So, okay, so because I changed the, the new GE Proton, it's going to need some download. It's going to download something called Wine Mono Installer. 
so just download it when you load the game because we changed the runner options from the Lutris to Wine GE Proton so now it's running it and GE Proton and it's going to download something called Wine Mono Installer so download that just wait for it I think we have to do this step because uh, we couldn't install the DirectX and we have to use a different runner so we use GE Proton which I think has the DirectX bundled in this Proton so that's why it works so now we've installed it and the game's running see if we have sound I'm pretty sure it does because I've tried it off camera and now I'm just re-recording it so you guys know what I'm doing but yeah uh, I did a lot of trial and error yep see you can you hear the sound yeah it's working so but we're in desktop mode so the controllers don't really work well I can't quit so I'm, I just press alternate F4 so now we're going to go back into gaming mode and see if it works in gaming mode okay so back in gaming mode I'm going to change the DOA 6 to Dead or Alive 6 and I think my internet's better now so let's fix the let's fix the artwork like I always do Okay, so let's change artwork. Yep, my internet's back. So let's go to the official artwork. You could do something else if you like. Okay, so let's run the game. All right. All right. It's a lot better with sound. So I'm glad we fixed that. If we didn't have sound, I don't think we could play the game. So make sure you're on uh, 720 uh, because uh, it will be very slow if you don't put it on 720. So let's choose a different character. All right, Lee Fang. Let's get a sexy outfit. Oh, and this one's good. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh, it's locked. Oh my god. All right. Okay, let's just play one round and we call it a day. So I think that all live is so you just get the outfits. Is that is that what you do in the game? You fight and then you unlock the outfits. Is this the latest one? Like, do they have seven or eight? I'm not really familiar with this franchise. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.